Hello, beautiful butterflies. Welcome to Mariposa Wisdom. I'm Jennifer Love. I'm an angel intuitive and life coach. I'm a Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Rising. My Mercury's in Scorpio and my Venus is in Libra. If you want to learn more about me, you can visit jenniferlove.me. So I just wanted to recommend a few things. If you like professional lighting and you're making your own YouTube videos or social media posts, I highly recommend Socialite lighting. Um, I have a really big light with a six foot stand. It's fully adjustable for, you know, forwards or like pointing it down at the cards. It like totally has a hinge that moves forward, up and down. I have a travel bag and a remote that's included in the set. So if you're interested in that, you can click the link below in the description box. I'm also pleased to showcase um, Simply Earth essential oils. Um, I recently found these as a subscription box service, but you can buy individual oils as well. But um, they are made from ethically sourced ingredients and small farms. Um, they're GCMS tested, and 13% of their profits go to fight human trafficking, which is a cause near and dear to my heart. Um, my favorite scent, I think, so far is called Good Vibes, but I also like this one called Ladies' Choice. So they make single notes and blends. Um, the subscription box is only $39, um, and you get like four oils and um, like either single note or blends, and then you get these little amber bottles for mixing your own um, blends, as well as color labels and cool recipes to make everything from like kitchen cleanser to shampoo it's it's amazing um, and when you're a new subscriber you also get a bonus box that has all of these goodies in it so um, I'm loving it I'm gonna try to make um, an opening uh, video when I get my new box for July um, so just click the link in the description box if you want to find out more about Simply Earth um, today's pick a card reading is um, messages from your person but it's a little bit different so I'm gonna go through each astrological sign and so don't pick your own sign pick the sign of your person so all of the messages for Aries will be like they're from an Aries like if Aries was your partner you pick Aries I hope that makes sense because I um, I wanted to do all 12 and that made sense to me intuitively that they would come from the person so there you go this is the current energy for whatever you know situation you're talking about thinking about this is timeless um, whenever you find it is the perfect time for you if you're a subscriber welcome back if you're new to me you're most welcome here each pile will have a timestamp in the description box below so think about your person <laughs> and we'll get started. So be sure to pick the pile of the sign, sun sign of your person. See you there. Two messages from your person. First up is Aries. So, oh, okay. Um, yeah, I, I do have, um, this person, this Aries partner of yours, feels bad for the way that they treated you. Um, they uh, feel you. They could possibly even be a twin flame. Um, if you don't resonate with that, that's okay. Um, this person seems to feel like they have a plan, but you need to trust them as to what's going on in that plan. They definitely feel you um, when you feel them. And um, your person says, you're special to me, even though I told you otherwise. So I kind of feel like this person may be in separation from you. Um, you might have broken up over a fight or something like that. Um, and they feel really bad about how they um, treated you in the past. Um, and they definitely like feel you when you're um, thinking about them. I kind of feel like um, if it's not a twin flame for you, it could definitely be a soulmate because the kind of like feeling connection that comes with that is um, more common in soulmates, I feel. But um, my uh, advice for you 
is to surrender to rest and sleep. So to prevent burnout, slow down, honor your need for quiet time and peaceful sleep to rejuvenate your mind, body, and spirit. So, you know, definitely with all these retrogrades, you might be feeling kind of tired and worn out and run down. And so, um, especially with like a really strong energetic connection to someone, if they keep like tapping you psychically, it kind of like, it's really draining, even if you're not like consciously aware of it, it might be happening while you're sleeping. So um, if you do need to take a nap during the day, you know, it's okay to do that. You know, you don't have to be, you know, you know, a super person all the time. Okay. So that was your quick um, messages from your person. Thank you so much for watching. If you could help me out and hit the thumbs up um, on the video, I would appreciate it. And I will see you next time. Okay. Taurus. So if your person is a Taurus, oh, there's a lot of passion here for sure. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> so I kind of feel like your Taurus is a very, um, passionate sexual connection. Um, they are feeling it and they are embracing their power in this connection. And I also, it's interesting. Um, I feel like you may have issues, um, setting boundaries with this person because you're so attracted to them. Like they might, um, come off as like, super sexy and passionate and you just feel like this amazing chemistry with them um it's it's funny how you know the message is trust me you know like <laughs> it's like uh yeah sure i'm gonna trust you with don't trust this person with your heart i'm not i'm not sure that there's like a lot of emotion here but there's definitely a lot of passion so that could be very very fun um but um and this person was also um, reminded of your scent recently, which to me is like, that's so like, I guess it could be perfume, but it, when I first saw it, I just went to that, you know, like really dirty place um, that was like super hot and uh, passionate. So, um, you know, when you remember the way that a certain person smells, like, um, it can be cologne, it like can be their soap or whatever. So you, you have a very distinct kind of signature scent that this person is very into. So um, that's like kind of cool. Um, but yeah, I, you know, unfortunately or fortunately that this connection is a very sexual connection, very passionate. It may not last very long. Um, but, you know, the advice for you is to surrender to setting limits with this person having boundaries with this person because you know it's not going to last that long you know don't give your heart away don't like try to rearrange your schedule for this person you know keep your own sense of self and self-confidence and um, self-esteem and boundaries and express your needs you know tell this person what you need from them and they can decide whether or not they can meet those needs for you. So yeah, this is a very um, passionate, fun connection. Um, so that's pretty awesome, Taurus. For a Taurus, you're, you're watching for a Taurus. So have fun with that for sure. Um, thank you so much for watching. I hope any of these messages resonated for you. If you could do me a favor and hit the thumbs up on the video, I would appreciate it. I'll see you next time. Okay, let's get into Gemini. What is our Gemini person trying to say? Hmm. Well, for starters, you are um, protected. So your angels are protecting you in this relationship and you're being divinely guided. So when you do get messages, they are accurate and you should listen and follow to them, follow them. Um, this Gemini has um, possibly lied to you. 
um, they feel regret about it. They may have been not like outright lying, but maybe telling half truths and keeping something secret from you. Um, they feel um, really hurt by that. It's not, um, they're not like gleeful about it or anything or like, ha I got one over on you. It's, it's just that they feel really bad about it. And I feel like um, they could be in um, another connection and they don't want to, you know, tell you about it because they'd rather be with you and um but this relationship is kind of um like a learning and growth opportunity for you because you and this Gemini because this Gemini is being triggered and I'm not I, I kind of feel like they might be triggered by you but I feel like it's more likely the other person that's triggering them and so it makes them kind of want to run back to you if that makes sense um, there's like really poor timing when it comes to this because this person says it's all coming down to timing so either you like didn't come together at the right time or um, you just you know keep missing each other for some reason this could be like a really long-term thing that you keep like hit and miss like when you're ready this person has a partner and when this person is ready you have another partner so it's kind of like I feel like it's just not good timing for either one of you and um, they're definitely getting triggered by their other person um, but I do want you to remember that you are safe and divinely guided so I wouldn't like you know stress out about it too much because you're being asked to surrender to play and you know to take a break from overthinking a goal do something fun play is a time of recreation and rejuvenation so you know find your joy find that thing that makes you happy and surrender to play because that's going to make you you know more higher more higher <laughs> that's going to make you vibrate at a higher um, frequency and make you more attractive to this person and any other person that happens to come into your life so they are definitely sorry I feel like this comes down to timing and I do feel like this person has someone else that you know is either in the way or like the ex or they're you know living with someone but they don't you know have any feelings for them or you know any of those kinds of scenarios so that's what the Gemini has to say thank you so much for watching um, I really appreciate that you're part of this community and um, if you could do me a favor and hit the thumbs up on this video, I would appreciate it. I'll see you next time. All right, let's get to Cancer. All right, so if your person is the sign of Cancer, ooh, there's a lot of chemistry here. Um, this person has kind of like upset you in some way or like uh, they you broke up or like had a fight because they really want the chance to make things right between you guys um, they're asking for a chance to make things right so um, this person is admitting that they let their um, doubts and fears get the best of them so I feel like this person might have been triggered by something you said something you did and it either caused a fight or caused a rift and um, you know you've separated but there's super strong chemistry here and um, this person sees you in their dreams um, this person feels like they like absolutely need you in their life um, so I feel like um, I would try to give them the chance to make things up to you if they reach out and contact you you know like give it a chance obviously you know maintain your boundaries and um, within reason you know I don't know what they did but um, definitely there's a lot of chemistry here this person is at least recognizing their triggers so while it may not be like a hundred percent you know controlled or at least they have awareness about it which is helpful you know to learn and grow so I feel like this um, cancer you know 
is at least aware of their feelings and they're aware of their triggers and they're trying to work on it um, and they want to apologize to you so I mean at least receive the apology even if you don't want to uh, bring them back into your life you can at least you know receive the apology with grace and go okay well I understand you know you had your triggers and whatever but that doesn't mean I need to like let you back into my life but I forgive you you know you're learning I'm learning we're all here to love and learn so um, I would really like you to be more open to receiving because um, your card is surrender to miracles be open to miracles occurring in your life feel and know that these events are real let go of any resistance and banish any doubts that miracles can happen so I feel like you have had a lot of resistance to um, love and relationships coming into your life like it may feel like um i don't i don't know what she's talking about like i'm i'm des you know not desperate but i'm i'm willing to let love in but you have to search for there's something within that is resistant to this or you possibly do not believe in the miracle that's about to happen to you so um especially in regards to this um cancer person that they might come back you know and I feel like you think that that would never happen in a million years but if you don't believe it will happen then it won't right so you have to kind of have faith and um, if you see this person in your dreams then you are absolutely um, traveling astrally to be with them because they see you in their dreams so um, yeah and definitely attraction is mutual so this is like um, just a connection that kind of got away but um, this person at least wants to apologize and try to make things right with you guys so you can give them that chance or not. I mean, I would um, err on the side of giving them a chance or at least hearing them out. So unblock um, your phone, why don't you? <laughs> so I, I hope you got some messages out of that reading. Um, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you being part of this community. and. Um, if you could hit the thumbs up button on this video, I would appreciate it. So I will see you next time. Bye. Let's get to Leo. This is your Leo partner, person of interest. Um, this is destined. This is a destined partnership. Um, this person is like trying to keep their head above water they're really stressed out they're just doing what they have to do um they're definitely like into you <laughs> so yeah there's that um pretty hot uh i but i do feel like it's not just a physical connection like this this is faded this is meant to be this destiny so um this person also like sees signs of you wherever they go so that you know you're always like friend of mine so if you're like constantly thinking about this person it's like a mirror that they're you know they're thinking about you too at the same time so it's that kind of thing um they're just trying to like get through life they're really stressed out right now they're just trying to like make it through the day do what they have to do you know i just feel like this um like treading water kind of feeling just like trying to keep your head above the surface like they're just stressed out like they can't deal with life um they're praying a lot like praying to god about this relationship about their life and their stressors um so i just feel like um you could be like still in this person's like space energy you might still be seeing them um, but it might feel a little bit disjointed because they're very stressed out. They're very, like, worried about their life. Um, part of them is worried about the relationship, but I think it's more, like, life circumstances that this Leo is having right now. Um, but just have faith that this is a destined partnership. You know, even if you guys are separated right now, you might come back together, you know, once the you know mercury retrograde is over or once another retrograde is over you know it, it might come back around because destined partnerships sometimes do that so um, you're being asked to surrender your worry regarding this connection make a commitment not to lead an anxiety driven life when worries arise breathe them out of your body 
focus on the power of your heart and have faith that spirit is guiding you always. So there's three ways to process emotion in your body. Um, breath, sound, and movement. So I have a dance practice that I use to move emotion through my body and I suggest you find something physical like that movement wise to like get that anxiety out, get that um, emotion out, that stress and worry and fear that you have surrounding this relationship because you're being asked to surrender that. You're being asked to um, make a commitment to yourself to not play into that anxiety that you have about this person in this relationship. And it's probably because, you know, this person is like having their own anxiety and stress about your life and you might be picking up on that. You might be a water sign. Um, and this person is, you know, obviously Leo, but um, they, you know, definitely attracted to you. There's definitely like destiny at play here. Um, they're seeing signs of you everywhere. They're thinking about you. Um, they're just like doing the bare minimum of life right now because they either like have no time or have a lot of stress or, you know, fill in the blank. So, yeah, I hope... Uh, you got some messages from that for your from your Leo person. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you being a part of this community. And if you could do me a favor and hit the thumbs up on this video, um, I would appreciate it. So I will see you next time. Bye. So let's get to your Virgo person. Um, I feel like, huh. so this person, um, you guys are not on the same page. You have like a different vision of how this relationship should be or should turn out. Um, you mean a great deal to them. Like you're a very important person in their life, whether you're with them right now or not, you have a very special place in their heart and head. Um, they feel like you're very intimidating. Um, you're very intimidating, you Virgo partner. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I'm not sure what, why they feel that. I guess I feel like you're like a really attractive person. And so they feel like they have to really step it up when they're with you or going out with you, um, hanging out with you, you know, being seen with you. I feel like um, you um, can like snatch a lot of people. Like it's not, it's not hard work for you to attract people. So um, this person, this Virgo is a little bit intimidated by that. And you know how Virgos are super analytical and always in their head? Well, they're having like some really wild thoughts about you. So, um, and you're very important to them. Um, you guys might have like argued or um, just somehow got off track and got on, on different pages. I don't know if the communication might be poor because you guys don't share the same vision of where this relationship is going. Um, perhaps this person wants a commitment and you're not into it or um, vice versa. I feel like they were so intimidated that they actually held back their emotions a lot because they're saying like, I'm sorry, I held myself back with you. And like, I just feel like it was due to their own kind of insecurities as far as you know your looks and confidence and all that you've got going on all that you have to offer and they somehow felt like less than or not deserving or worthy of your love and affection and um, so they kind of held back and protected their heart and did not get a hundred percent vulnerable with you um, and I feel like that's how you kind of got off on the wrong page. Like you guys just weren't communicating well because this person was holding back and you probably sensed it, but you didn't know like, what is up with that? Like, why are you doing that? Um, the advice for you is to surrender your need to always be right. <laughs> uh, give others the gift of letting them be right. Uh, be yielding, not rigid. This will help resolve conflicts and improve your relationships. So. 
if you did have like a spat with this person, um, you might want to just like let go of this argument. Like, okay, you're right. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to argue about this anymore. Or you can just say whatever, but like, just try to yield to them this time. Like try to see, try to see how that feels. Try that on for size. How does it feel to surrender your need to be right all the time? Um, I know, you know, as a woman, we sometimes do not want to yield because, you know, there's so many other scenarios where we're so oppressed as women, you know, in our relationship, we want to be, you know, the equal or like we want to be in control or in charge of it sometimes even, which, you know, that's not exactly healthy, but I, I can understand the feeling and the need to do that because, um, that kind of control or pseudo control over the relationship because you really can't control anybody. So the more controlling you try to be, the less control you actually have from the relation out of the relationship. So um, trying to, you know, be really rigid in your communication and thoughts and interactions with this person is going to backfire and it's just going to create more conflict and get you further away from where you want to be. So try to, um, you know, give them the gift of letting them be right for once, <laughs> even if they're not really right, <laughs> way down deep. Okay. So and try not to be so intimidating. You're just, you're just too beautiful. Stop that. Um, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you being part of this community. Um, if you could do me a favor and hit the thumbs up below, I would appreciate it. Have a good one. I'll see you next time. Let's go to Libra. What do I have for the Libra partners? So this person is part of your life right now. This is not someone who is like in the future or in the past. It's like immediate. Um, they, you could be just like starting to date them or whatever, but um, they're definitely thinking about um, making you an offer which to me means commitment but it could also mean like hey i want to hook up with you and you can decide if you want that offer or not they definitely like feel this like attraction towards you they want to taste you which is kind of hot um but this person is emotionally unavailable <laughs> right now so they feel like um they're broken hearted about a previous connection they're kind of broken hearted about the connection they have with you because they know they can't offer you what you want. They're going to offer you something. It may not be what you want. Um, and they're trying to do the honorable thing. If this person is like trying to ignore you or stay away from you, it's because they know that they're not emotionally available and they, they don't want to lead you along. Like, lead you on that's what I'm trying to say they don't want to lead you on and like um break your heart so um but it's definitely like this person is here right now so this is not a future thing so if this is not your person I'm sorry but um yeah they uh have a lot of attraction for you they are trying to get over this um previous relationship and they're trying to like almost create a, a barrier or a wall between you guys so they don't get too close to you because they don't want to hurt you. They don't want to hurt your feelings. Um, they, um, but they definitely want like a physical connection. So you could be getting that offer like, hey, come over, hang out or, you know, um, let's get together this weekend. But just like know that this is probably a casual thing for them. Um, and because they are a little bit closed off emotionally. So you're being asked to surrender your fear of change. The universe is reminding you that you are cared for always, whether you're afraid of a change in your job, your health or relationship, or if you fear aging or death, repeat the affirmation, I have faith that all is well. So I feel like you're afraid of losing this connection You, you because you also feel passionate about this person and you want to be with this person but you can't hold on too tightly it's it's 
it's useless really because it's not gonna do anything um, but make this person run away faster so um, try to be open to accepting kind of what is and what is happening right now because you can enjoy the love that is present right now or you can be like worried about the future and what they're gonna do and are they gonna commit and what kind of offer they're gonna make you know like just try to like let all that go and um, just focus that all is well everything's cool right now and that's all I have to worry about is this moment um, you know obviously if you don't want to you know have the fling or have the physical you know connection then don't like it's not you don't have to it's just it's there if you want it but um, this person is trying to do the honorable thing they also might be still connected with somebody else I kind of feel that for some people that um, the Libra is in another connection or they're dating multiple people so um, they're trying to be honorable and not like sleep around with everybody they just you know they're casually dating so they're just like trying to not um, get physical because they don't want to hurt you um, but so like there's there's certain different sets of Libra so there's a Libra who's emotionally unavailable and there's a different kind of Libra who's like playing the field um, so they don't they're not exactly you know investing their emotions just because they're you know seeing multiple people and trying to decide who they want before they like emotionally invest so um, yeah so just don't like don't be afraid of losing the relationship I want to say um, y you should always be prepared to walk away from someone if they're not meeting your needs if they're not honoring your boundaries you know you have to have the relationship with yourself first that's the most important thing so yeah I kind of feel like yeah take this offer or don't it's up to you but I don't really feel like it's gonna be the level of commitment that you're looking for or that you want with this Libra they're just not in the place right now to be able to do that for you so um, thank you so much for watching I hope some of these messages resonated for you if you could do me a favor and hit the like button thumbs up down below I would appreciate it um, I will see you guys next time. Bye. Okay, my Scorpios. Uh, this is if your person is a Scorpio. I'm sorry, or you're lucky. I'm not sure which. Um, okay, this person is like definitely thinking about you a lot. They feel like they made a mistake. Um, and I don't know if that was mistake of letting you go or the mistake of they just kind of screwed up in some way um, they do not the Scorpio does not want to lose you they are begging you not to go um, and I feel like you are being encouraged to um, give this person a chance because they're asking you to take a leap of faith and it says it's safe to make the move that you're considering so if you're considering you know giving this person another shot if you're considering you know letting this person offer you an apology um, because they feel like they made a big mistake in terms of your relationship um, they may have said something or did something that they didn't really mean or that you took it the wrong way or something like that because um, there's definitely like a flirtatious energy here and I don't um, I don't really feel like it's just you know surface level because this this Scorpio is very concerned about losing you from their sphere of influence I want to say so like I don't um, and they know they made a mistake so I kind of feel like they um, they do care about you so whatever you know the issue is that they um, screwed up or like didn't um, meet your needs the way that you wanted just try to um, either educate them about what you will and won't accept or um, you know maintain your boundaries because I feel like um, your angels are encouraging you to move forward with this so you just have to be sure that you know this person is like meeting your needs that you know you require um, and I feel like well you're being asked to um, surrender denial uh, accept people in situations exactly as they are without denying the difficulties then you can see things clearly 
and make the best decisions. So in the picture, the woman is like blindfolded and she's just like still running forward. <laughs> so the key is to see people as they really are. You're not going to change anybody. You know, think about how hard it is to change a bad habit in yourself. Like, um, like for example, I'm always late, you know, like I'm not meaning me personally, but I just like, let's say someone who's always late. You can't make that person be on time. <laughs> you can make yourself be on time, right? But you're not gonna be able to control what the other person does. And, you know, if you have a habit of being late, it is really hard to change that behavior if that's kind of what you're used to, you know, not planning ahead and doing everything at the last minute and things that make you late, you know. So just think about if you were trying to change that lateness in another person, it's next to impossible. You can't change it in yourself and you really want to change. It's going to be next to impossible to change it in another person who has no interest in changing really. So I feel like um, you're going to have to accept um, this Scorpio exactly as they are showing up. Um, and if it's not meeting your needs, then don't go back there. Um, but if you can like try to communicate what your needs are and this person is willing to meet them then I think this has a shot of going somewhere because they definitely don't want to let you go they can't get you out of their head like they're thinking about you all the time so and they know they screwed up so they want to like come back and apologize to you um, but you're being encouraged to like take that leap of faith like try it you know what's the worst thing that can happen right like heartbreak or I don't know so just you know try to not be in denial about the difficulties that this relationship might face um, if this person is not meeting your needs like just be aware that you know it's not going to be like some miracle all of a sudden he he or she starts acting differently you know on date 10 or whatever like you're pretty much going to get the same person you know dates 3 through 10 so um yeah, try not to be in denial about it. Try to make good decisions for yourself. They definitely don't want to let you go. Okay, so I hope that those messages were helpful for you. Um, thank you so much for watching. I'm really appreciative of you being a part of this community. Um, if you could do me a favor and hit the thumbs up underneath the video, I would appreciate it. Um, and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Okay, Sagittarius, Sagittarius, what do we have for the people whose partner is a Sagittarius? So this could honestly be a karmic situation, um, which is not, you know, it's not necessarily a bad thing. It's just, you know, that this is a relationship that's meant for your learning and growth okay so it may not like last forever but that doesn't mean it can't be long term so take that take from that what you think um there is definitely a warning to not dismiss any red flags that you see in this person this person um i feel like did something pretty vile um the sagittarius because they're still haunted by their actions towards you I feel like they may have stepped out on you. Um, they may have issues with drugs or alcohol. I don't know why I'm getting that, but um, yeah, some some people and some of the Sagittarians that we're talking about have issues with addiction, um, but they honestly love you you know, as much as they're able, you know, because everyone's at a different point on their journey. They're only doing the best they can with the awareness they have at the moment. So this person feels like they love you. If they're not demonstrating that, that to you in a way that means something to you, that's different. But I feel like they love you from their perspective, their point of view, their like awareness, level of awareness. Um, they want to spend time with you. They want to like hang out or something. Um, and I feel like um, you're being asked to surrender your fear of intimacy. Uh, you're ready to let love in, compassionately identify, and begin to release 
any patterns that stop you from opening your heart. And I definitely feel like for some reason there's this picture of this couple and I feel like the feminine is very reluctant to be physical with this person. So I don't know if the feminine is the Sagittarius or the feminine is you, but I feel like this very, like a huge reluctance to get into it with this person, especially physically, sexually. So, um, but your angels are saying you are ready to let love in. So don't like block this person out, like give them a shot to like show you, um, love, but you know, on the flip side, like do not ignore the red flags. If your person is like demonstrating behavior that's unacceptable um, and that haunts them like they're sorry but okay that's that's great that you're sorry but are you gonna keep cheating on me like <laughs> that's not gonna fly so I mean definitely take into consideration whether you can deal with their behavior or not but um, they do care about you they do love you I mean that's the message here um, and you also need to be able to receive that love from them in whatever form that they're able to give it to you. So hopefully some of those messages made sense to you. Um, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate being part of this community. If you could hit the thumbs up below, I would really appreciate it. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. All right. Let's go to Capricorn. Capricorn. Um, okay. This is a soulmate connection. Um, you're not with this person right now, but um, they do not want this to be over. I don't want this to be over. <laughs> um, and you're definitely like still have a place in their heart. Um, they feel like you're really beautiful. And this, you know, the green is like heart chakra to me. So I really feel like this deep um, love for you from this person. Um, they are a soulmate connection for you so um yeah and they just don't want this connection to be over but they're still they're kind of struggling because they're purposely ignoring you for some reason like they may have blocked you on social media or they're not answering your texts or they're not answering your phone calls because I think they're a little bit um scared of the intensity of this connection um I feel like they are definitely in love with you but it scares them so yeah Capricorn earth sign I kind of feel like they want this but they're afraid they're just like not in a place where they can um, give to you 100% so um, yeah but I mean I I'm conflicted about you know whether to give this a chance because so this person doesn't want to be over, but they're also like ignoring you, which doesn't fly with me. So, uh, yeah, I don't know like how that could work out, but, um, they definitely, you know, are attracted to you. They think you're beautiful. They're your soulmate. Um, you're definitely in their heart space, but it's just the ignoring you part that I have issue with. So, um, yeah, hopefully that behavior will change when they realize that they just don't want this to be over and they're ready to like come forward. Um, it might be a while, like I wouldn't um, hold my breath about it, but um, I feel, well, you're being asked to surrender to passion. So get out of your head and feel the fire in your belly. Focus on the people or activities that ignite your passion and let it flow. So try to take your mind off this connection by doing things that hobbies and activities that you feel passionate about. It'll like raise your vibration and give you a, more of a zest for life. Like being happy makes anybody more attractive. So, you know, going after your passions and like living a life of purpose 
um, it's just going to make you happy whether this person's in your life or not like isn't it great to be like happy and content with yourself and like loving your own life so you're I feel like you're being asked to kind of shift your focus away um, let this person figure their shit out and then if they want to come back they will um, because they really don't want it to be over but then they're still so conflicted um, it's like it must be like a total headache for you like I can't imagine I cannot stand being ignored like you better answer my motherfucking text like I <laughs> <laughs> and that's how I feel about it. Um, so that really is a huge red flag for me. Like I don't, I don't play that game. Like that is not happening. So um, yeah, I don't know how this Capricorn is going to get their shit together, but hopefully they do. But I suggest you focus on making your life the best possible. Live your best life. Don't worry about the Capricorn and what the hell they're trying to figure out. So I hope you got some messages from this. Um, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you being a part of this community. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. So let's get to the Aquarius person. Your Aquarius person. What do they want to say to you? Well, you guys are spending time apart right now but it's, it's okay. This person is working on healing some of their family issues. You know, like it could be addiction, it could be codependency, it could be um, mommy issues, daddy issues, one or more parents was not emotionally present or available to them. And this distance and time apart will help bring this person clarity. Um, this person is super afraid that you're going to reject them and that scares the shit out of them because they're addicted to you you are their personal brand of heroin and they are really actually freaking out about this time apart but it's necessary because they need to work on their stuff before they come back at you right um, this Aquarius recognizes that they were the one with the issue they are taking responsibility it's it really was me not you so if they broke up with you saying that oh it's not you it's me you know they mean it like that's seriously what's going on they have issues and they're trying to deal with it and not involve you so I feel like um, they don't want to be rejected by you because you are their drug but they need the time apart in order to heal these family issues so um, it's good for them it, you know allow them the space and the distance to work on themselves and I do feel like this person will come back around because they are so connected to you and um, they don't want to have that rejection feeling they, they like they're like paranoid about it so I feel like um, once they work on themselves and you know come at you correct I feel like this has a chance of going somewhere, but the time apart's necessary, so don't freak out about it. You're being asked to surrender to your intuition. Tune into your inner voice. Be aware of any gut feelings, flashes, knowings, or aha moments that come through to guide you. So your intuition is definitely on point right now. Um, you know, listen to it and um, don't be scared of the time apart with your person because it's needed and you can you know you're getting the guidance as to what to do with yourself so I'm not like as concerned about that um, this person needs time to heal so they can um, come back to you properly so that's thank you so much for watching um, I appreciate you being part of this community and I will see you next time bye Hello, if you're dealing with a Pisces, um, there is a third party that is intruding upon your relationship with this person. Um, and it doesn't mean that it's like another woman, another man. It's It could be like their mom or their job 
or like their kids. Um, it, it, there's just like something external that's like getting in the way of your relationship. So this Pisces feels really bad about what they've said and done to you. They feel like so much regret over that. And they just got kind of caught up in the moment. And I don't know, I'm kind of feeling like there was like a big fight because I feel like they said things that they did not mean and they really regret um, lashing out at you. They feel like you're their person and um, I think the interference from the other person or party is really having a huge effect on their um, perception of what's going on. So um, they're trying to convince themselves that they're good enough for you. Um, and the yellow is like the um, solar plexus chakra. So I feel like this person feels like they've lost their power to this third party. They don't like, um, they're like either listening to like their best friend, like their best friend is like trash talking you and they're like paying attention or it's like their family member. I get, I get cousin for some reason. This person might have a cousin who is like, um, trying to trash talk you or like talk you down or talk this person out of the relationship for some reason um but your Pisces knows that you're their person so I kind of feel like the interference will you know be righted at some point because this person is going to realize that oh you know I don't really have to listen to so and so this is my life and my relationship and I'm going to do what I want so I feel like once they get that kind of you know, healing and they earn your forgiveness, they will um, come back around. So you're being asked to surrender to complete healing, open fully to the loving, compassionate forces of the universe that support your physical, emotional, and spiritual healing. So if you, um, ask your guardian angels to help heal you help heal the relationship archangel raguel is um the archangel that is kind of oversees harmony in relationships and conflict and people that are like um out of sorts with each other you know call upon archangel raguel to help you mend that rift help you um, minimize the conflict, help you come back together with this person because I feel like you have, you know, all of these angels supporting this union and your and this person's emotional healing. Um, you can also ask um, Archangel Raphael to help you with emotional healing and Archangel Uriel helps with emotional healing. So if you surrender to the healing from the angels, I really feel like this person is going to also benefit from that healing. And they do feel bad for what they said. They did get caught up in the moment of the fight or whatever. And just so you're aware, there is like a third party in the mix, but it's not necessarily mean that there's like a third romantic party. It could just be like family interference, work interference, um, and in some cases, it's this Pisces children that are objecting to this relationship, so, but you're definitely their person, they know that, so I feel like once this healing occurs, then, you know, you guys can come back together, they don't, they need to get that solar plexus healing, um, they need to feel good enough for this, they need to feel good enough for you, um, yeah, I think that's all I've got for that. So thank you so much for watching. Um, I appreciate your support. And I appreciate you being in this community. Um, if you could do me a favor and hit the thumbs up, I would appreciate it. I will see you guys next time. Bye.